Let's take a look at how you can open a file using a Mac. The first thing that you need to know is where the file actually is on your Mac. Um, different people have different levels of familiarity with Macs. Um, one of the things that you need to know is where is your home folder. On my computer, I actually have my home folder pinned to this directory on the left side here, but if you don't, and you're in Finder, you can go up to uh, the Go menu up at the top and say, Go Home. And that will take you to your home folder in Finder. The reason why um, we're interested in the home folder is that that's the default location where the Jupyter Notebook navigation screen will open up to. And so generally, if you're trying to locate files in uh, a local installation of Jupyter Notebook, you need to start looking at either your home folder or some subfolder of your home folder like desktop, documents, or downloads. So I have created a file, uh, a folder, which I'm going to use um, to load data from within my home folder. It's a folder called data, and I've created a, just a generic CSV file that's inside that folder. And so I can um, uh, see it here on my uh, Jupyter Notebook menu as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the notebook. So if, if you open, if the Jupyter Notebook that you're using, such as the one, uh, this file test one that I have here, is in your home directory, then your home directory is going to be set as the current working directory for the Jupyter Notebook. So I, um, if we take a look at this first code cell, the first line is a panda import, which we're, is not really the main topic of this um, lesson here. But if you recall a previous lesson, we used the OS module. And we saw that there was a method, or a, a sorry, a um, function in the OS module called get CWD. And that uh, function does not take any arguments. It just simply outputs as a string the working directory. So if I run this cell here, then it will import pandas and the OS modules. And then here we can see the working directory. So this is how I can know that, um, that the Jupyter Notebook is actually operating out of my home directory. So typically on a Mac, you have a, a slash and then users, and then your user directory will be listed as whatever your username is on your computer. So since, I, since the directory that I created called data is a subdirectory of my working directory, then the path to the file that I'm interested in um, is this working directory string right here. And then concatenated onto the end of it, I have slash data, which is the name of the folder I created, and then slash biostatsemployees.csv, uh, which is the actual file within that folder that I'm interested in. So I, I like using this method here because then, um, you can, it, it, let's say you decide you don't want this data folder to be a subfolder of your, um, your home folder. You can put it as a subfolder of any other folder that you want to launch the Jupyter Notebook from, and then it'll just simply get the working directory path, the path of wherever it launched the Jupyter Notebook from, and then it's going to look for a data subfolder within that folder, whatever it is. And that way you don't have to actually hard code the location of your working directory. You can let the script figure it out. So I will construct that path and then just pass the path into um, the pandas read CSV file, uh, uh, read CSV function. Um, so now it's read it into a data frame, and now I will just ask uh, the Jupyter Notebook to show me what are the first four, uh, five lines of that data frame. And I can see that it was able to successfully load it. 